This is the story of the Indian diaspora in France, which has many hues. In mainland France, it is about one lakh strong, 20,000 of them Indian passport holders. Many of them are students and professionals, largely in and around Paris and Bordeaux. But in the glittering French overseas territories, Guadeloupe and Martinique in the Caribbean Sea, and reunion in the Indian Ocean, the Indian diaspora is more substantial and their history different. All of them in their own way are making a difference. from Pondicherry came in the 50s and 60s and 70s onwards in metropolitan France. Uh, you have more recent migrants, North Indians, Gujaratis, Punjabis, uh, who came from the 80s onwards for business, education. When we came here, it brought a lot of influx of French people and French culture, including liberty, equality and fraternity. La langue française euh, n'est pas un handicap. La langue française est un véhicule, est un moyen, est un médium pour nous, pour redécouvrir davantage et de plus en plus euh, la véritable haine. Il faut savoir qu'ici, il y a 300 ans, c'était un lieu, après avoir fait euh, être passé à l'église, on venait pique-niquer le dimanche. C'est un lieu euh, symbolique et fort en histoire, puisque par là, vous avez la vue sur euh, l'océan Indien, et euh, tout le monde arrivait par euh, cet endroit euh, qui est fabuleux. Gotham Sen is a man obsessed with cars, vintage cars. The fact that I come from Calcutta, from Bengal, somehow the same kinds of passions you find that you find in Calcutta, people getting obsessed with either soccer or politics or cinema, or women for the matter, or whatever, music, it's the same kind of obsessions the French have. Gotham has been exhibiting vintage cars in India and France for the last 20 years. The Indian market is very peculiar. It's peculiar in the Asian context. It's a market for small cars, essentially hatchbacks, for diesel engine cars, for, with cars with manual transmission. And that's quite unique to compared to the rest of Asia. It's surprisingly very, very similar to the French market. The French are the best in, in Europe or in the world for making diesel engines, small cars, manual transmission cars. In the south of France, the beautiful Chateau Gamage is a 200-year-old winery inheritance. The legacy now is in the hands of Usha Lavi, a Singaporean of Indian origin, a challenge she has to face every day in a field that is primarily dominated by men. Wines were produced here at the property. It was a challenging experience to keep the property in the hands of women, especially being Indian. We have owned the property for several decades and we continue this ancient tradition of winemaking here at Chateau Gamage. While Usha Lavi continues the tradition of French wines, a Frenchman living in the heart of Puducherry is making the finest quality of fragrances. We started Maoma in uh, 1976. 
Aroma started with very small means. We had absolutely no money to start that, but we could borrow money here and there in order to buy some raw material and start with incense. I must say that I'm very, uh, uh, very proud and happy to be here in India, you know, after these 40 years and having participated to all of that. We are not Indian, but we are also patriotic and we are inside ours. We are Indian, we are French, and uh, we, are, we are all that. Another French man in the heart of France is engaged in the development of another unusual business, film collaborations between France and India, which are fast becoming an important source of business for the economy. The biggest avenue when it comes to French-Indian relationships seems to be um, Indian shoots in France. Here in France, as you know, the, the Indian diaspora doesn't speak Hindi, they speak Tamil. So that means that we had more Tamil movies shot in France than we had Hindi movies. What we do with Indian producers is what the, f the, the Film Commission do. They are itself to be the first gate that will explain um, what it will be, who they can work with, who has worked with Indian production, what could be interesting. For any question related to film and TV production, we are Indian producers' best friends. Far away in the French overseas territory of Reunion, Sanjay Odarji is the best friend of those interested in the finer things of life. The bijoux traditional Indian are beaucoup plus massive. Il y a beaucoup plus d'or en 22 carats et le, les bijoux traditionnels, donc français, je dirais, aujourd'hui, européens, sont beaucoup plus axés sur les diamants, sur la, sur la joaillerie. Donc c'est de la bijouterie fine. On aimerait que les Indiens de l'Inde puissent connaître ce que c'est ici, cette partie de l'Inde qui est à la Réunion. C'était au départ une petite entreprise familiale qui s'est développée dans le secteur de la calquerie et dans les matériaux de construction. Group Ravat is a pillar of Reunion's economy and an integral part of Reunion society. Pour faire les actions sociales que notre père a menées ici à La Réunion, nous avons été obligés effectivement de créer une fondation, Ravat, qui intervient à La Réunion et sur ce même modèle, nous pouvons aussi intervenir en Aisne. This effortless movement between the two nations has led to a constant exchange in arts, culture, people, politics, business and more. France is one of the largest investors in India. And for India, France is an important destination for investment. You'll find many uh, companies now who find India as a good opportunity to share or to invest. At the same time, many companies from India are coming to France also to do sensing. And many companies uh, like, uh, say, Capgemini, uh, they have created 53,000 jobs in hardly a uh, few years in India. There are more than 100 Indian companies in France, including Wipro, Syntex, and the Indian multinational conglomerate, Tata. We have a very old connection. For example, in the business life, Mr. Tata, Giardi Tata, was from a French mother and is not buried in the Cimetière Le Père Lachaise in Paris because he was half French. He was educated in France and he was a very good speaker in French. Paul Jacobi is a member of parliament in Paris and head of cultural affairs. This Indian connection is not just diplomatic but also personal being married to an Indian wife. In India, every time I go to Gurgaon, in Delhi, I am surprised by the change. The buildings, technology, the flyovers, things like that. Mr. Arun Kumar Singh, the Indian ambassador to France, emphasizes the common values that have strengthened the history and partnership between the two nations. Since we've gained our independence, uh, there is a new relationship and especially uh, since the end of the 1990s, uh, the relationship has been extremely strong. Uh, we share common values, democracy, freedoms, rule of law, 
Uh, there is a strong business dimension to the relationship. Space, civil nuclear energy, defense, uh, France is among our major partners. Uh, in space, for example, uh, India has launched 18 satellites uh, from France. We have launched two satellites for France and we have done two joint satellites. Assalamu alaikum. Je te salue, terre ancestrale, pays de nos pères, laissé pour de lointaines contrées. Petit-fils fidèle, vers toi je reviens, où la quatre longtemps désiré. Donc c'est une communauté qui s'est aussi renforcée, qui s'est enrichie. Il y avait là aussi la sagesse des anciens. Ceux qui sont arrivés ont eu la, vraiment la sagesse de s'entendre, de se dire qu'on est dans une île, il faut qu'on vive ensemble, on a un avenir qui est commun. 150 years ago, a group of indentured laborers arrived in the island of Reunion from the ports of Chennai and Kolkata. Il y a 150 ans, les premiers Indiens sont arrivés à La Réunion. La culture indienne a façonné l'histoire de notre île, l'histoire du territoire, mais aussi des hommes, des Français que nous sommes. Far away in the French overseas territory of Guadeloupe, amongst the indentured laborers who landed on the coast, was a lawyer and politician who defended workers and demanded French citizenship for Indians there. A permis de bénéficier des avancées démocratiques pour tout le prolétariat guadeloupéen. Et c'est ainsi qu'il considère que l'Occident Barom fait partie des grands hommes de la Guadeloupe. Records show that by the end of the 19th century, nearly 68,000 indentured Indian laborers were brought to the idyllic French Caribbean islands of Guadeloupe and Martinique. Both islands have a community of Hindus, but people of Indian descent have assimilated with the majority of the population of mixed ancestry. Though sugarcane is still produced in both Guadeloupe and Martinique, tourism has become an important sector of the economy where people of Indian origin are well represented, including transport and construction, vegetable trade, higher education and professional positions. Guadeloupe, Martinique and Reunion share a deep connect with the people of India. Des Indiens qui étaient venus du, du Gujarat et une autre partie du Tamil Nadu avec des religions différentes. Et d'ailleurs ce qui s'est passé au sein de la communauté indienne reflète aussi ce qui se passe au sein de notre société réunionnaise, c'est euh, le respect des différentes communautés et ça on doit surtout dans cette période aujourd'hui très difficile au niveau international. Jean-Paul Virpool has been a member of the Senate of France, representing the island of Réunion. He has been the mayor of Saint-André for the last 36 years. Les planteurs ont débarqué chez moi en novembre 1969. Et ils m'ont dit, il faut que tu sois candidat. Ma, ma femme les a mis à la porte, mais ils sont revenus le lendemain et c'est dans le gazon devant la maison Ils ont amené un drap, on a bu un coup, ils ont discuté, et c'est là que je leur ai dit oui. Parce que la maison était fermée, on était mis à la porte. Je leur ai dit oui, et ils ne savaient pas que j'avais trouvé face à Paul Vergès, qui était le vrai leader politique de la Réunion. The late Gilbert Kanabadi, a migrant of Tamil origin, was one of the richest people in Réunion, with large sugarcane plantations and real estate business in Saint-Pierre. His life was a poignant story of India in reunion. Mon grand-père est né sur le domaine de mon caprice. Il a été engagé à l'âge de 7 ans. Et moi, effectivement, j'ai réussi à racheter le domaine avec le domaine de mon caprice avec toutes les livres de comptabilité où on retrace tout le parcours de la famille. Tragically, Gilbert Kanabadi Muthian passed away soon after this interview. He lies buried in his beloved home of Reunion, symbolic of the meetings of many cultures. There was no people who were there before, 
Nous sommes venus à peu près de différentes vagues, mais nous sommes joints sur ce petit territoire. Mais ce qu'il faut bien comprendre, c'est qu'il y a un ciment autour de ça. Le ciment, c'est la République française. L'objectif, c'est justement, c'est de la connaissance, propager la connaissance indienne, montrer que nous sommes issus d'une grande civilisation, parce que nous avons ici des gens de toute origine, il faut partager. Et nous sommes profondément réunionnais, nous sommes profondément français, mais nous n'oublions pas nos racines indiennes. It was not just Indians like artist Shakti Barman or the great painter S.H. Razar taking their art and culture to France. The French had left a significant part of their roots in India during the period of colonization. Dr. Nalam is a renowned surgeon and the recipient of the Chevalier de la Légion d'Honneur, the highest civilian honor given to anyone by the French government. After the defeat of French in Indochina, it was an automatic choice of Mendes France to liberate all the colonies and Pondicherry was liberated. But they still gave an option to the population who are willing to become French national. About 8,000 people opted for French nationality. As your Indian territory was under British rule, it was a very small part of India who was which was under French rule. I think it is it's also because we had to some extent be close to uh, the Indian freedom fighters, but also we kept some uh, good relationships with the government, with the Indian government after 47 and the independence. But 40 years before the liberation of Pondicherry, now known as Puducherry, Indians fought in the Battle of Neuve Chapelle during the First World War. The mission of India was during the First War. It was very important. More than 10,000 soldiers died in France. That means they, they, they make a big effort, they fight well, and that is important. The Indians came here, the Punjab regiments and the Gurkha came to France during the First World War and fought for the freedom of French people. We fought so the French colors would fly high. But India and France also contributed to a spirit of peace together. Mira Alfasa, fondly known as the mother, founded Oroville as part of the Sri Aurobindo Society. I am French by birth and early education. I am Indian by choice and predilection. In my consciousness, there is no antagonism between the two. Oroville signifies the mother's deep spiritual connect with India, a connect that lies deep in the history of France in India. And lying deep in the history of India in France is a Ramakrishna mission in Gretz, founded by Swami Vivekananda. We have a man's university. It is a kind of uh, approach to the ancient Indian traditional education system called Gurukula. Giving their lives in service to the Ramakrishna mission are German musician Naren and Dutch singer Sarada. Je ne me sens plus vive car dans autour de moi. Ramakrishna Mission's teachings are propagated through the local Gandharvgan radio station. The web radio is, um, uh, we are broadcast some uh, meditation, some uh, mantra singing, some uh, uh, philosophy lesson. Everything is uh, guided by Swami Vita Mohananda. Il faut revenir et revenir en ce monde. Le veau dit moi, 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 moi. Impact is very strong now in France. Now it's becoming bigger and bigger, and we are very happy. The radio started two years ago only, and now we have more and more listeners. 
that's very very nice apart from spiritual teaching many other aspects of indian culture are absorbed into the french mainstream through the indian diaspora it was extremely enriching for me in fact working on this indian play when i came here for instance allowed me to look at stuff uh which is sometimes you know when things are too close to you and you can't look at them properly you need to push them away in order to be able to look at them and that allowed me that distance in a sense i grew up i mean there was a certain maturity that uh, being in this theater and doing theater in france and having this uh, link that france has with india i think cultural link between france and india is a very old link that way i think i got that gust being living in france because there i could exhibit myself and it had helped me to exhibit more my indian arts i think that way i should thank the both huh? both cultures people for example they are very difficult very critical and they are perfectionist and i think that is what i got from paris because i never compromise on details maybe that's what makes you grow there's one very uh, very important other part of my artistic existence is that all my main books the important books on my work all done by french publisher like one is done by alba michel another is done by la di france so all these books are gift to me by all french publishers my mother started her own ngo in india called renaissance international which used to help indian carigars indian artisans to export to make products that would sell in europe because unfortunately the kala is there the art is there the know how is there but the designs are too indian to be sold abroad So I decided to work with her. Son of India's renowned general and former chief of army staff General JJ Singh, Vivek Pal Singh is the first Sikh to be elected to political office in France. We've been elected since April um in the new city here in Kondeshwari as a new uh, party and I have started bringing in my little contribution whatever my family taught me whatever India taught me. to a country where uh, people are opening up uh, to the new ideas and new concepts which are different for them no mais il faut aussi voir les 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 entreprises qu'on va faire venir pour 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 le travail uh, and at the same time i'm sure um, i'm bringing into india a lot of the french cultures and the french values of work um, especially in the ethic and social responsibilities in the work Anil Abhimanyu Sharma has made an exciting journey from a photographer in India to a leading epicurist in France. So one of the biggest challenges of teaching uh, Indian cuisine is uh, explain the basics of why we eat and how we eat in India. And I explain to them why do we cut everything into small pieces because we eat with our fingers. So it's a, it's a journey for them. I don't just teach uh, the technique the technical part of it detox to votre corps le yoga c'est pas un sport c'est votre corps vous massez votre corps de l'intérieur i try to show only the simple uh recipes because we have only 3 hours in which i would like to share india with them i would like to share cuisine with them and i would like to share the health aspect which is three totally different things Catering to the popular interest in French cuisine is Pinakin Desai, who has opened a chain of successful coffee shops in Paris. कोई पन बिजनेस करवा माटे बैंक नी जरूरत तो पड़े चे। फ्रांस नी डायरेक्ट बैंक हमारी साथे काम करवा तैयार से। अने जेटलोग फाइनेंस जो ये 
एना विना गेरंटी थी आप तैयार है कारण के अमर जो ग्राफ ये जो आटला वर्ष में अमरी मेहनत जो एना प्रमाण में अमने खुला दिले ये ऑफर करे कि ते आग बढ़ो It's a long story, passionate love story with the language, first with the Bengali and then with the French. Neither India nor France is my homeland. Uh, it's the French language is my homeland today. Why? Because uh, uh, I can't think like uh, a true Indian anymore. At the same time, I don't want to be a French. I don't want to be a Frenchie in that sense. You know, uh, somehow it's um, mixed blooded. I'm not mixed blooded by birth, but I'm mixed blooded by culture now. Sabine Arbudam, whose ancestors came as indentured laborers, now teaches yoga in Reunion. Quelques années de ça, le yoga n'était pas considéré comme une philosophie à la Réunion. Je, le yoga m'apporte beaucoup de, de bien-être physique, euh, mental, spirituel. Euh, J'en ai vraiment besoin de, chaque jour. On fait des études sur le yoga. Et on s'aperçoit que le yoga arrive à résoudre certains problèmes, même des problèmes psychologiques. And the people of India learn the French game, pétanque. Donc c'est un jeu qui s'appelle la pétanque. Oui, euh, disons dans la communauté indienne, c'est un des, des jeux de loisirs, je dirais principaux, parce que tout le monde se retrouve après euh, après dîner. Donc c'est plus pour se relaxer, pour se retrouver entre, entre amis et on joue donc euh, avec tout le monde quoi, voilà. A different ball, a different place, a different spirit, as cricket takes its tentative steps in France. Most of the thing here, the players we play against them are Asians, okay, you can see Pakistan, Sri Lankans, Indians, Bangladeshi, everyone. And of course there are British people also. Mostly when I talk about cricket to my French colleagues, uh, they ask me if it's a croquet. Croquet, it's a French game. But mostly uh, I try to explain them by uh, relating to baseball. We quite explain them. We have lots of tra uh, translations. All the uh, words that we use in croquet, we have the translation. For example, the stems, we call it as guichet in French. So they come and watch uh, the matches uh, during the weekends with us and uh, they enjoy the game. Right now, this is how we are also promoting on behalf of France Grid, we are promoting the game. Like professional cricket, the ethos of the present Indian diaspora in France is also professional. Aided considerably by the work of the Indian Professional Association in Paris, Maison de Lens, headed by director Bikas Sanyal, offers a window to higher education and opportunity in France to young people from India. Since I joined this school, was to promote relationship between India and France. My first visit that I made officially on behalf of ESCP was to IIM Ahmedabad. I was the first school, I think, where we signed an agreement with IIM Ahmedabad. So it dates back to more than 30 years. And since then, we have now official collaboration with seven business schools in India. All Indian students who we recruit to the CAT system, we give them automatically a scholarship of 50%. And in addition to that, we have double degree agreements, which is something quite unique. That means they get degrees from the, both the institutions. Maya Cesari is the director of CYROI, the research institute in Reunion that has collaborated with the Indian Institute of Science on an important exchange program. Depuis 2008, nous avons été accueillis à l'Indian Institute of Science par le professeur Srinivasan et depuis, nous avons mené des partenariats scientifiques 
Et euh, nous avons également euh, à notre actif la première co-tutelle de thèse franco-indienne, c'est-à-dire la première co-diplomation entre la France et l'Inde. Along with his partner René, Dr. Srinivas Kaveri has come to India to take forward the scientific collaboration between France and India as the director of the National Center for Scientific Research. The union between India and France is absolutely not a problem. On the contrary, I see that it's, the, both the countries have perfected. There's a lot of potential to work together. The relation between France and India in science dates back to seven years. My job will be very simple. It has to further strengthen and enhance the relation between this. You probably know names such as Ramanujan, Raman, Chandrasekhar. They have shaped the history of science uh, for India. I'm really proud to be the creator of Dia One, the first neuro inspired robot that purifies the air and takes care of indoor environment. Dia is a perfect example of the collaboration that PIOs can have with other countries. And now this is an example of the collaboration between France and India. French and the Indians are so proud of their independence. I think through cinema, through literature, and this is maybe the most important aspect of uh, uh, India, which are very much appreciated in France. Through that literature, they enter in a different world. So France, I think, uh, has to globalize, and thanks to this Indian diaspora, they get some understanding of uh, what is exactly the world. The world is different from the French values, so you have to deal with these non-French values if you want to be in the 21st century uh, power. Advani exemplifies the new professional of Indian origin in France, literally flying sky high. Airbus has established a, a, a tremendous relationship of confidence as far as commercial aircraft is concerned. And I think now it's a trusted partner of India and contributes to the uh, growth of the industry. The area which is wanting today is on the sovereign side of industry. So I think on the defense side, on the space side, helicopter side. So I think uh, this is uh, a real area of development for the relations. Now what I've been doing for the past years is that I've been setting up what we call global sourcing. And the idea here is to uh, distribute aerospace added value across the world. And you'd not be surprised if I said that India is obviously one of the leading destinations for us. So uh, we've been opening some organizations in various countries. India was the first one. depuis notre plus tendre enfance parce que au moment des fêtes tout ça la musique était là présente les, con les contes étaient présents par exemple le bal tamoul l'histoire de Rama et Sita pourtant on connaissait pas l'existence de l'Inde mais il y avait un langage une langue qui était là et cette euh, depuis notre temps les contes indiens étaient là présents à suivre sur notre antenne dans, euh, ce soir euh, au Niger. Voilà, Diane Nazarevitch qui a pris l'avion. Euh. Demain, c'est aussi euh, le jour où on reçoit son. I was born in India in uh, February 1971. I only stayed like uh, that's four, six months in India, and uh, I grew up in a in a French family close to Paris. Parents, they always told me where I came from. Uh, 
in, a, in another way they couldn't hide it from me as this is my skin color and they are, both of them are white. I just went back once in India almost 10 years ago and went back to the orphanage I stayed at when I was uh, a baby because I need to know if my biological mom or, or dad are still alive. And uh, I tried to ask the sisters if they had kept any papers and she was so sorry to tell me that she didn't find anything. L'Inde, for me, is the country of my mom. Donc sachant qu'elle a été euh, adoptée soi-disant par euh, mes grands-parents qui... Pourquoi soi-disant Non, non, qui a été adoptée <rire> par mes grands-parents. Donc euh, c'est un pays que ouais, j'aimerais bien aller voir. The complex contours of the ancient connection between France and India has interesting manifestations. From a rediscovery of identity, the journey of the Indian diaspora in France has taken many turns as it continues to reinvent itself. I was born and brought up in South India and grew up here all my life and have lived in India all my life. Never lived in France, but both my parents are French. So I grew up speaking French at home. Artistically and creatively, I've always loved French cinema and I think that's been a great influence on my life as an actor. And then uh, I always say that my skin is white, my heart is brown. But I can't deny that there's a lot of French in me. I'm a great believer, although India doesn't know France that much, France doesn't know India that much, but I still feel in the collective unconscious, in an unsaid sort of a way, I think there's a great bond between France and India, which will come to the fore one day. I am attached to my Indian nationality. At the same time, I feel very French. Uh, I belong to this society and yet I don't belong to it. So it gives me a very privileged status because I can observe India from an external eye, be critical of it and yet part of that society. And I can do the same with French society. Somewhere I'm an insider, but I'm also an outsider. And I love that feeling of being inside and outside at the same time. Avec mes souvenirs, j'ai allumé le feu, mes chagrins, mes plaisirs, je n'ai plus besoin de balayer les amours avec l'autre émolo, balayer pour toujours, je repars à zéro. No, rien de rien, no, je ne regrette rien, ni le bien qu'on m'a fait, ni le mal, tout ça.